What's going on guys? My name is Abe and I'm with LTH and in this series I'm going to teach you about Linux. Everything you need to learn. Go ahead and pause this video right now so you can read over this list or find our playlist on our channel down below as well as all the links and commands will be linked on our website down below in the description. So let's get on with today's specific video. What's going on guys? My name is Abe and welcome to the first episode on me helping you become a Linux command line professional, an expert, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget all these commands and information or links are linked down below in the description on our website learntohomelab.com. But we're going to need two things, a Ubuntu desktop as well as VirtualBox. So once those two are downloaded, come back to this video and we will get on with the rest of the tutorial. So now that you have this installed and we're looking at VirtualBox Manager, we're going to click New from the top. We're going to name this Ubuntu Desktop. And then we're going to grab an ISO image from the downloads, which is the Desktop Ubuntu Server. We're going to skip all the way down to Unintended Install, so it'll do everything for us. And we're going to give it a username and password. It'll give itself a host name. We're going to do hardware. So I'm going to set this to 4096 and you can do like two to four cores of RAM, whatever you can uh, support. I would do as high as possible. I'm going to leave this as default at 25 gigs for the storage because we are not doing or we're not installing a lot in here outside of teaching you how to use Linux and the command line specifically. And so this is going to auto start and install. So go ahead and pause the video until you are in the main Ubuntu Linux operating system and then come back to this video. Okay. And so once we're at this screen after that automatic install, we're actually just going to go ahead and power off this machine for a second go to our settings under display we're going to enable 3d acceleration bring this up to 256 gigs if you go to network we're going to do bridged adapter so we get a internet connection and an ip assigned from our router and we're going to click ok and we're going to start this machine back up and then install virtualbox tools so we are able to um, have dynamic screen movements right because it'll be stuck in like this box size unless we add those tools okay and so now that that's rebooted we're gonna log in we're gonna click next and skip and next and finish and then up here if we go to our devices tab within ubuntu we're gonna do insert guest cd and we should see it pop up over here in a second and then if we open this by clicking on it, once we're in with this file directory or folder directory, we're going to click right click in an empty space, click open terminal. And then within here, we can actually see that we have the location. So instead of having to change directories to it, so we're going to type ls and we're going to see a list of commands. So in order to install this, we need to first install uh, the version of zip to unzip this. So that will be done with the command um, bzip. There it is. I can't remember which zip file it was. So it'll be sudo apt install bzip2. Okay, and once that is installed, I just did a control letter L to clear my terminal to make it easier for you guys to follow along. And then we are going to type sudo dot forward slash to run v vbox linux editions dot run and click enter. And so this is going to go ahead and install, as we can see, the VirtualBox guest additions, which will allow us to copy and paste in and out of our virtual machine, as well as for it to be dynamically sized to your monitor specific screen ratio. So while that's installing, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over to device and I'm just going to put shared clipboard to bi-directional as well as drag and drop to bi-directional just so those changes are done. 
and then we can see that this has completed but things need to be restarted so we're going to click up here the little icon to power and then power again and click restart and restart this virtual machine and let's go ahead and log back in now that it has restarted i'm going to give this just a second to load everything okay and after waiting a minute i'm just going to make this smaller and make this bigger and then we can see now we have that dynamic screen ratio and so that's going to be it for this video of just how to install and get your environment set up for this series stay tuned for the second episode where we cover basic commands like shell printing directories touching files copying files deleting files and how to read man pages stay tuned for the next video my name is abe signing off with this video